guys. Vic here playing Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Happy New Year's everyone. Today on Skyrim Revisited, I am going to do the Dead Man's Dread quest. Starts off with the Restless, but you can get this quest in Bethesda's Creation Club for 750 credits. So it starts off as the Restless, and you have to go to Solitude and go to the Winking Skeever. It's been three weeks since I posted a video. I apologize for that, guys. I actually took a, a small break for the holidays. So that's why I haven't really done anything in like a little over three weeks. But now I'm back. The Winking Skeever. Of all names to name a inn. Or pub, or whatever this is. So, basically, you just go over this little table here and read this book. Now, there really isn't much in this book. I mean, this is one page, two page, and then three page, and then half of the fourth page, and that's about it. Enjoy. Hey there, beautiful. Oh, I love those eyes. Anyways, let's see. So, you have about two options. The third one is in one of, is in the jail cell that is that you end up getting into. So you can convince the guard to give you access to the jail cell, or you can just purposely get arrested by doing um, all kinds of stuff, like, I don't know, attack someone, attack a guard, or steal something in front of a guard. I mean, it's up to you. But I'm not going to go down the route of getting myself arrested. So. I. am going to do. A different way. I'm going to persuade a guard. To let me inspect a jail cell. They say the college has been snooping around Sarthor. Oh, that's great. No good. Oh, I see. That's good, good, information. good info. The guard. Good info. Alright, let's see. I'll try to make this as quickly as possible for you guys. I have been, uh, I've actually done this a few times and I do have a habit of getting lost in this dungeon a little bit. Trying to get out, I mean. Now, you can choose to jump all the way down there, but if you can't find your way out, then, well, I don't know what to tell you. But, I think the stairs are right here. Some are saying the Sigic monks have been seen at Skyrim. Now, you see this flag? Just look for that shelf there, and that's your way out. You hear the news? Word is the College of Mages is back to normal. Okay, just this once. Just open the door. Open it. I said open it. Do your job and open the door. That's right. You know who's boss. Get out of my way. Anyways. You read this note. I'll leave this open so you guys can read it. And then I will take the note. My little souvenir. Now if you decide to get arrested, there's this activate crumbling mortar mortar. <laughs> Whatever. Um and it'll, if you follow this path you'll eventually find your stuff in about in a chest and you can recollect it and sneak your way out. But that's up to you. So you do that, and then you have to find a spare boat to travel to Blackbone Isle. And if the spider would get the heck out of my way... You sell off that junk, get bits and pieces. Oh, you are so beautiful. Anyways. Go up these stairs, find your way out. 
If for once I didn't get lost. <laughs> okay, maybe I did. No, I didn't. I did. Ha ha ha. It's pretty bad I got lost in there. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on White Run. Uh huh, that's great, yeah. Now, before I did this video, I actually got up to this part and then a dragon attacked, and unfortunately, I have a very huge weakness to fire because I'm a vampire, so. But, anyways, this is where you have to go. Now, if you're near Fort Hragstad, if I even pronounced that right, you're, you'll be closer to it. There's another one, Steep Fall Burrow. I mean, here's another one, Wolf Skull Cave, but that's a little further away from it. So, yeah, the closest is this one, in my opinion, if you haven't found Fort Hragstad or whatever it's called. I swear I can't pronounce some of these. I mean, I don't even know if they're even... <sighs> I'm not even going to get started on that. All right. I spent enough time underground myself. I want to go in. I'm right behind you. Oh, I would definitely like to go in, Serana. Just not what you think. <laughs> uh. Sorry, guys. I really think she's hot. Please do not tell me another dragon. You've got to be kidding me. You know what? I'm just going to run. Just gonna run. Not gonna fight it. Although I should probably increase my health. While they fight that dragon. You know what? I'm gonna have that dragon kill these guys for me. I think that's a brilliant idea. So, guys, beware of dragons. But you have to go over here. But I'm gonna let this dragon kill them for me. Or me. <laughs> He's gonna kill me. Oh my goodness. Really? You're gonna fire breath right in my face, really? You know, that's breath is kicking. Excuse me. Really? You're gonna attack me? And then a crab after? You know, I was trying to make this video simple. You guys make it difficult. Oh. I got wolves coming after me. I got. And it's like a dragon's all oh, fly. <sighs> Do I have a fire resistance potion? Because I really need to. I'm just draining the crap out of my. No, I don't. Oh, that's just lovely. Alright, well, figure is healing. <laughs> I'm really sorry, guys. I did not expect this dragon to come. There. Wow, that, the way he fell, that was just... Alright. Alright, let me absorb this. So anyways guys, if there's no dragons, you're supposed to kill these... Okay, where's the... where's the chief one? He has the sword. Uh, he's over here somewhere. He was over here battling me. He has a sword that you collect. Here it is. 
So this is one of the stuff you get. Blackwater Blade. Make sure you do not forget that. The, the, obviously the... Um, Celesti. Do not forget that, guys. Not that it's important, just saying. Don't forget it. That's one of the items you get. A weapon. I don't even think it's that great. But anyways, I mean, you can explore that boat. It probably has like a chest and some stuff in it. And it's not really all that great, but... What the heck? Let me revive the mud crabs, Serana. Really? Oh my goodness. I'm sorry guys, I can't resist this. <laughs> okay, so... Ugh. You go to this boat here, and, you know, be, let me see if I can... It's right near this. Weapons tier. And you go on the boat. And it'll take you to the... So from there, you go in here. Now, just to let you guys know, if you look at the map, there's nothing surrounding this aisle. So, don't even bother. That's why I didn't bother. <laughs> now, prepare for a fight, guys, because, I mean, this... Intense battle against these weak skeletons that I mean, it's like, I don't know what to say, man. Just be, be very careful. I mean, they're brutal. Only skilled warriors can take these things down. With one swing. Okay, that one took two swings. So, okay. Who, who is? Oh, you want you want to shoot arrows at me? You want to shoot arrows at me? Wow, oh, that took three hits. That's just bad. So basically, you just explore this. Now there is a little something I'm gonna try to explain after I get done here. There is a... I'll show you. Alright, so on this floor... Okay, some died and some didn't. So there's a bunch of doors that... This is uh, one of those... Shrine things. Okay. And then, here's another door. Some beds. Some more beds. You have to go down this way. Get that on purpose so it doesn't follow me. And then, here's another room here. Some more beds. I mean, my goodness. A lot of beds. That's just insane. How many big? This must be like, I don't know, a, a plotting room where you can plot courses to where you want to go. You know, where you want to sail to, whatever. Open this, there's some more beds. Some dead skeletons in there. If I just can't, you know, it's not like I can't just get any more creeped out by dead skeletons. Oh, oh here, here we go. Blacksmithing room. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Forge all kinds of stuff. I already showed this room. Alright. That's good. So let's go down here, guys. Now this looks like a little mini bar. But behind here, it's a pantry. And then, uh, what the heck? We get out of my way. Hey, where's Serana at? Where's my, where's my beautiful honey? I guess she doesn't like being in here. Hmm. Oh, there's a there's a bottom area somewhere. Like 
where there was a. I think it's this way. No, nope, it's not. Huh. Unless this is it. Oh, more beds. More beds. Oh, oh, oh. Here it is. This is the, the jail area. And it's not locked. Okay, there's a skeleton. He has a note. I don't know if there's any importance, but alright. I'll take that. Now, when you have these spiders, guys, don't, don't stay in a, a very small room for too long because they'll block you in. I like that. Okay, so this is the captain's room, I believe. Yep. And... Red guard. Get all kinds of stuff, but if you look in here... You got the captain's boots, two sets of them. You got the captain's clothes, two sets of those. And then you got miner's clothes, which is crap, because you can get that anywhere. So, in here... You got Cyrus's boots. Cyrus's clothes, an emerald, gold of 24, iron ingot, lesser soul gem, which is empty, which I don't see, and a copper and ruby circlet, which it may be different to you for you guys, so I don't know. So, that's empty. So this is, um, I'm, I'm gonna assume, like, he's the captain, he's all dead and everything. Oh, uh, look, gold, other gold, emerald, uh, gold, what's in this dresser? Ugh. Boots. Alright, so. Here's what you're looking for, but there's also a journal. When I get out of this place, I'll show you how what, what you look like with these on. Give me that. And then you have Cyrus Saber, which oh, and this strong box has flawless emerald and some gold. Yay! Safe is empty. And of course, you got ghosts that want to attack you. Who said I was hiding in the bed? Come on, I'll take you on. One dead. Two dead. Two dead. You're a good blocker for a ghost. Now you can collect this, uh, some gold, and then you got some scrub clothes, and I don't really care for red guard boots. And we got. Let's see, long bow. We got boatswain clothes, different colors. Boatswain shoes. Okay, that's good. Iron arrows are crap. And then we got some more of this lovely stuff. We got some more scrub clothes, which I already have that color. And then, uh, ooh. oh, I need that. We have some more boatswain clothes, but I think I have the same color. I don't really need this. Take it, but I don't really need that. I'll take that too, I guess. Anyways, there should be more of these. So as you try to make your way out, which... Yeah, so you escape the grotto. You will encounter ghosts that will... ...attack you. What is up with the scrub clothes? Oh my goodness! You get different colors of those boat swing clothes and scrub clothes, guys. So...
captain's gone. Here's the. Well, I think I have that color. Come on, I'll take it anyway so I can sell it, I guess. Oh, Serana, hang on. Hang on, lovely. We make such a wonderful team. What's this? Ugh, no. No. I see a different color scrub clothes. And then we have, let's see if there's a different. I see a different color boatswain clothes. Elven arrow. I need that. So. Now we just gotta escape this place. But before we do, you see that. that skull looking thing there now there's a way that you can get there but from what I saw once on a YouTube video somebody was using something called Windrunner alteration spell it's a mod that I believe is in this game and under the mod section I don't use it now if you do this right you might be able to use um, I'm not going to try this now, but for anyone that might want to try this. I think Whirlwind Sprint, with all three words learned, will get you there. Because I've tried it a few times and I almost landed right in there. There's a chest right where my cursor or marker is showing. In there. Uh, but, And I think they meant for you to do this, to go all the way up here... Maybe run and then use Whirlwind Sprint. But for those that don't want to do that, they want to do the easy way, well, go into the mod section and get something called Wind Runner. And you'll be able to get in there. So, anyways. I won't do it because I don't really care for mods like that. So, it says completed, but there is one final thing that you gotta do. Even though you did all that, guys, there, um, it's, the ship is not really yours until you speak to a courier. Get a note. And, um, go back. Uh, for me, couriers seem to come at me in right run. So I hope this helps anyone that wants to know what you get for this quest. I will show you guys what the weapons do or what they look like and stuff like that on you and the clothing. There's a nip in the air. Cold won't be good for Oh, he's rocks. rushing to me. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Yeah? Your hands only. All right. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Okay. He was running at me. I thought he was going to try to rob me. All right, so... You got to read the pirate's note. Which pretty much tells you to go back and claim Dead Man's Dread. There you go. And then... That becomes a miscellaneous quest. So you have to go back to Orphan's Tier. No, 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 guys. I mean, I'll probably clean it up. Of all the crap it has in there and try to decorate it. But I probably won't use it as my home. Because, I mean, it, you can't really fast travel once you go there to anywhere because there's nothing that there, you know, that surrounds it for you to fast travel to. So, I mean, I don't know. I will 
come back to this and where's that boat? Here it is. So we'll come back here and loot this area. So basically you just have to go back in here and all the skeletons will be gone, all the ghost remains will be gone or should be gone. And the boat is basically yours. It becomes your new home. So if you want to play Pirates of the Caribbean, guys, there you go. Or better yet, the Goonies, because, I mean, this kind of reminds me of the Goonies, especially with that. So, I mean, if you want to relive that moment, I mean, there you go. Actually, it makes me want to watch the Goonies. To make me think about it, they find the pirate ship inside a cave. And they come through a, a cave that looks like a skull. So basically, yeah, the pirate ship's yours now. And as you can see, it's a little lighter than before. I'll even go around and show you guys. See, there's no dead skeletons or anything like that. It's all cleaned up. I even go back here, see nothing. No no dead skeletons. No ghosts, ectoplasm, whatever remains, whatnot. This weird thing as I, I don't even know what to make of that. So it's basically yours for the taking. You can do what you want. I mean you could I'll probably explore it. You know what? Since I'm here, why, why even leave? Why are you looking down like that? That is weird. Anyways. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys real quick. Let's see. We got the boat swing clothes. I'll put those on. Wait. Well, they're all the same anyways. It don't matter except for these boots right here. I like these ones better because also I hate green. Oh, wait. Probably would help if I take off the... the... helmet. There we go. Oh, and of course these need to go. So that's the boat swing clothes, guys. If I even pronounce that right. Alright, let's see. And then, uh, I'll show you guys... the scrub clothes. Ugh. Oh. Oh, that. Oh my gosh, I'm cringing. <laughs> that, oh. That's horrible. Alright. Where's the captain's clothes? They better look. Oh, actually, you know, I'll wear these. I'll show you guys what this is. There you go. Alright, let's see what else is here. That's interesting. I like these ones. Red and gray. If that is gray. <laughs> Might be a light form of black. I don't know. Well, gray is a light form of black. Never mind. Yeah, it's gray. He's got a lot of black shirt going on in there. Yeah, it's, it, it is gray. Gray and red. All right. So, I think I showed you guys everything there. Uh, we have this, and we have this, which is not um, enchanted. So you probably could upgrade an enchanted. But apparently, this is. You know, I don't know. I've seen a lot of um, weapons that deal with absorbing stamina. So, I don't know. I mean, that... Arr, my jeez. So, I mean... I want to be careful. I don't want to accidentally hit Serana. Yeah, 
Ain't that beautiful? So yeah, that that's that's what you get, guys. Uh, let's see. Did I get everything? Or do I need to show the other? Do, did I have more than one boat swain clothes? Uh, I'll show you guys these. I don't like that color, but there you go. Ugh. Ugh. So that's what you get for playing, for getting this crap, for uh, getting this Creation Club content for 750 credits. You get uh, these weird-looking clothing. I like the part, the captain's clothes. I really do. I like the color of the boots, and I like this. So I like that. The other ones just are they're just too ugly, and the colors just were ill. But anyways, that's just it for 750 credits, guys. So if you like what you see and would like to see more of my videos, please feel free to subscribe. I usually upload them frequently, but there are times, like recently, that I may disappear for like three weeks. But usually, I upload them frequently. I might make another video after this of something else. But anyways, Happy New Year again, guys. Thank you for watching, as always. Stay safe and have a good one.